think that actress Anna de Armas could get any more attractive, but clearly I was wrong because her recent comments show that she completely bucks the narrative of current day modern woke Hollywood, where everybody's expected to think the same way and act the same way. That is not Anna de Armas. And what she said recently when asked a question about female Bond, I think probably surprised the people who asked the question. Bond movie star Anna de Armas says there's no need for a female James Bond. And this is Anna de Armas. She was one of the Bond girls from No Time to Die. I know No Time to Die in general was not very well received. I think overall, when you take away the fact what they did to James Bond by killing him off, spoiler alert, when you just look at the movie as a whole, I think it's like mid-tier for the Daniel Craig movies. I did think that Anna de Armas was a very bright spot in this movie. But with that being said, let's get to these comments because for years, so many people have been pushing, we need to make James Bond black. We need to make James Bond a woman. We need to do something else with James Bond. No, you don't. James Bond is James Bond. James Bond always has been James Bond in the books and in the movies. There is no reason you need to go ahead and inherently change something, whether it be his gender, whether it be his sexuality, whether it be his race, because that's not who the character is. But so many people in Hollywood want to push something else. Not Anna de Armas. Actress Anna de Armas, who starred in the latest Bond blockbuster, No Time to Die, has come out against making the next James Bond a woman, adding there is, quote, no need to steal someone else's character. D. Armas, who plays a more aggressive, gun-wielding female agent than what usually appears in the Bond series, spoke to the Sun newspaper and was asked if she thinks the next 007 feature should feature an actor who claims to be, quote, non-binary to portray James Bond. But the Knives Out star was unconvinced that James Bond needed to be altered to appease a woke audience. There's no need for a female Bond, de Armas insisted. There shouldn't be any need to steal someone else's character, you know, to take over. De Armas went on to say some properties just need to stick to tradition that made them classics. This is a novel and it leads into this James Bond world and this fantasy of that universe where he's at. That seems so common sense. That seems like everybody agrees with that because in reality they do. The vast majority of normal people don't want characters to be changed for no reason, for identity politics purposes. Like, and that is why it's being done. Make no mistake. That's why people are pushing for this right now. Anna de Armas simply says, no, that's not the character. You should really stick true to the character that made these characters popular instead of trying to usurp that or hand it off to somebody else. And just like we've said so many times, what you should do is create these original characters in this universe if you want them like that. And that's exactly what she said. I would like is that the female roles in James Bond films, even though Bond will continue to be a man, are brought to life in a different way that they're given more substantial part and recognition. I think that's what's more interesting than flipping things. And her character, even though initially did seem to be like very deer in the headlights, traditional kind of ditzy James Bond girl. And I say traditional, even though there's been tons of Bond girls in the past who have had incredibly valuable roles and done incredible things in the movies. It's still a stereotype that's out there about Bond girls. And then all of a sudden, about halfway through her appearance, she flips the script and it turns out she's incredibly competent and they have a, a really cool gunfight scene that kind of brings you back to traditional Bond movies. It was one of the most traditional Bond things I've seen in the Daniel Craig era, to be honest with you. And I love the role that Anna de Armas played in it. Maybe we're about to hear more things like this out of Anna de Armas, because quite frankly, she said the other day that Hollywood just isn't the place for her. No Time to Die star Anna de Armas explains why Hollywood is not the place for me to be. She's talking about the eyes that are constantly on you, the paparazzi, all this pressure, all this stuff. She doesn't like Hollywood. So maybe that's why she feels comfortable bucking the trend of so many people in modern day woke Hollywood and just saying what she thinks about the Bond franchise. I, for one, love to hear this, especially from someone like Anna de Armas, who played a role in the Bond movies already. When asked this trap question from the media, she responds, no, you don't need to change James Bond. You don't need to swap these characters and try to give them to somebody else or steal someone else's role for the sake of identity politics. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.